Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kid Lee, and welcome to another episode of Tales from the Galactic Codex. Even on Hutta, even in communities built around theft and violence, there are outcasts, people who cross a line, committing acts so vile that their fellow criminals don't dare retain them. People who lose everything and have nowhere to turn. People who outrage their hut overlords. These people are exiled to the swamp and most die quickly, but not all. Survivors learn what it takes to endure in the swamps. Respirators to cut down on toxic gas inhalation. Medical components to counteract absorbed chemicals. Specially treated clothes to alter one's scent and blasters, of course, for self-defense. But no one can escape the changes wrought by living submerged in poison, and survivors suffer from paranoia, delusions, and hallucinations. They become as, locals say, bog people. Like the Palace of Nimro, Frothro's Palace is modeled after the capital building in the Hutta city of Bilboessa. Unlike the Palace of Nimro, Frothro's home is a veritable death trap built with warfare and defense as its primary purpose, rather than business and luxury. Frothro employs several different mercenary groups to patrol his palace grounds and corridors. Each mercenary operation is given information only about its own territory and has no further information about the rest of the palace's defenses. Fathra's paranoia guarantees that no single betrayal can cause his downfall, but it may also be his greatest weakness. And that will go ahead and do it for this episode of Tales from the Galactic Codex. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thank you so much for watching, and with that being said, everybody keep playing, and have fun.